Okay, welcome back guys. Let's carry on with this. So I like to add one more thing in here. Maybe this one now. <clears throat> I like to add a filter in here. I'm using the WAP filter, so WAP filter. So you see on the keyboard, so that we're just gonna break up the edge a bit more. So if I should zoom in like so, I turn this off. You can see I kind of breaks up the edge some more. Okay, so if you go to something quite extreme, if you use something quite extreme like like so see how it gets quite extreme on the edge but we don't want that just need a very small amount like this should be fine we take it down some more like so okay so i want to Just duplicate this, name this black. Black, okay. Now the black marks to this. For this, I feel like I should take down the I think I have too much height on this. Let me take down the height. So go back to the height channel. Take this down even more. Maybe value of 15 or 16 should be fine. Okay. Yeah, so on it should be fine. All right, so take this back to base color. So I'm going to be using a full black tone for this. Then push it towards the blue. Okay. Uh, this one looks. Let's see it's a bit too oily. Increase this some more. Oh, let me turn up this block for now also so we can work a bit faster. And that's quite oily. For now, maybe even hide it for now. Let's hide the roughness for now. Okay. Um, add the black marks again. I think I would like to use the depth brush for this. Well, let's see. Let's try this. Uh, so how fast we can play with in here. So increasing how fast we can play with in here. Let's look for something good enough. This guy's cow's brush looks somewhat good enough. I think we can use this. I think we can, actually, <coughs> we can actually use this on the lower parts. Just underneath. Yeah, like so. Now that's weird. So I'm using the mouse cursor instead. I'm using the mouse, my mouse instead. So the mouse is even giving a better result. So anyone that will actually work will just use. So this looks fine. Okay, maybe to take this down, this is something smaller, something smaller around here. 
there are fuse wedge all of these fuse wedge let's see if we can pick out a shape we can work with okay Nah, that feels weird. Take down the flow and the stroke. Let's do something. Increase the past a bit more. Let's do something. Not really digging it. Uh, I need something that would make an interesting shape to it. This shape will have the already feels weird. Maybe we try something that has dot shape to it. Look for something else. Uh, this one looks almost nice. Nope. Uh, I'm not really digging the texture. Okay, this one looks like something that would be nice, that would work. Uh, looks a bit disjointed. Nah, that doesn't feel right. No, I need something else. Let's try this instead. For instead, I just stamp this in. I'll rotate this. Let me rotate this. Need a bit more space here. Let me go a bit closer. It looks nice, but we need to define the shape a bit more. Uh, mm, a bit off. Nope. Yeah, I have an idea. I think we can do something like yes, yes. I think we're getting something more or less like an inverted Y shape instead. Let me take down the brush size. Like an inverted Y shape. Yeah, something like this should be fine. Okay, so we're going to go back and then paint. The dark regions of the eye properly. Let me try this brush instead. This brush instead. See what we can paint in here. It's giving me very drab. So uh, let me increase the spacing and use my brush, my pencil again. Let's see if that will do something. Okay, this is nice. Actually, creating some dot shape around it. Okay, I think we can make this work. We can do another one here. Uh, not sure if I'm digging this though. No, no, the fuse, it feels, it feels a bit out of balance. So I'm not just painting things in, I'm trying to make sure it has a nice feel to it. We yeah, need to paint this. Okay. 
this is nice this other part we need to use later on but for now see if we can get this use smaller bro I'm, I'm basically using the basically using my mouse right now for this let's try the pencil okay no carry this on see how far out it goes it's x on the keyboard and erase this part okay Okay, raise these parts. This I will see break up a bit more later on. Let's just get a shape in there first. In this up some more okay there is a better way to go let me just go like so instead yes something like it should be fine and I'll just fill up these parts Okay. It takes on the keyboard. I think we need to get a shape. A fuse more like this instead. All right. Let's do for the other side. Probably you need to actually break this up later on, but for now, let's just continue painting on top of this. Okay. So now let's break this. Let's break this up. Let's break this up. Let's look for another brush that we can use to break this up. Let me try this Kai. What of Kai brush is in here? Try this instead. It's X on the keyboard. I'm just painting in. Oh, that's a bit strong. Take this down. Starting with the edge. Just pass this some more. I don't know. I think I'll be using the procedural brush instead. Or I'm feeling me at the feel first. Let's use orange. Um, let's try this leak first. Let's see.
Oui, la complete, la complete removes everything. Complete removes everything. So let me put them better as to put this in a group. Add the black marks. Then add a fill. And I can use something in here now. Try this on. No uh, mm, filling this door. I think the best way to go is to do manual. So go manually on this. Let's try try plain try plain here. Right. This helps kind of break things up a bit though. Okay, randomize this. Okay. Maybe something like this should be fine. I'll go back in there and then Turn on the roughness. This piece is a bit too black. Let's let's get it still black. Try to figure out if I need to keep or remove this black, remove these marks rather. So let's add the warp effect on top of this warp filter. That should break up the. Edge some more. Okay. We need some white. We need some white underneath this. So duplicate this red again. Hide the blow. Let's use. And so this some white for the black marks. Spin some white around here. Let's get the white underneath, underneath this black. Okay. Take the warp for this black. I need to reduce the warp for this black. Okay. Let me use this brush for the whites. Let me name this to white. This text on the keyboard. I want to just use kind of break things up like so. Maybe a bit too much. 
So increase the visibility, increase the flow, increase the process some more. Something like this. Like that should be fine. Maybe I should even do the same for the black. I'll just feel, don't feel a bit weird. No, let me leave this as it is. This black feels a bit off. Maybe, maybe it's the roughness. They yeah, have much better. I'll do something way too black. I think the value around the uh, seems fine instead. Properly matches the other side. Then for the white, I need to add the warp filter to it. Okay, that should be fine. Looking at this black now, I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure about the black. Let me see if I can paint. Paint more of the black in there. Okay. Let's paint some spray of white on some other parts. Let me use this brush instead. That feels a bit strong. Let me probably just paint. Let's duplicate this instead. Add the black marks. That's the wrong brush. Let's use this instead. Nah. Probably just use doing the probably just use death brush. Let's try this smaller brush size. Some around here also. Maybe I won't do another one. Okay, let's break this up first. Filter. Wap. Okay, use the opacity of this. I want to e text on the keyboard. I want to reduce this some more. I don't want it to be too intense. There, yeah, but not too intense. I'll duplicate this, bring this on top. Oh. Bring this rather under the red. 
at the black marks. So I'll just paint this under the red. Okay. Uh, I'm still looking at the black, black, especially the black on this side. Doesn't feel, still doesn't feel right to me. Um, maybe I'll just leave it as it is for now. Probably for now. Go back to this white at the top. Okay. Something like this should be fine. Do a quick save. Then I would like to put all of this in a group. So put all of this in a group. Face paint save this um uh, at the white and I feel like this white at the top or just below the red is a bit up and let me move that should be visible. Okay. This we can work with. So we could save. Then let's export this. Uh, I think the challenge would be how to get a good blend of this with the with the skin white because we don't want the SSS to be affecting. This new paint we just added on here. Let's export this out. So, okay. I think I'll choose a separate folder for this. Name this to new skin paints. Well, the face paints. Face skin paints. Select this folder. Exports. Well, for this, there's a lot of dark, sh dark shadowing going on there to make it. To make it a bit more interesting, so we need to match the lights to get dark shadows in there. That'll be for later, though. 